Welcome to the Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode one, and it's basically five minutes every day where we sit down and go through something Drupal related. Today, I am going to go over how to set up and use the Views Data Viz module, which takes advantage of the Google Visualization API and integrates pretty nicely with Views. So I'll hop over to my Drupal 7 test site here and I will jump into the modules page so you can see what I have installed. You can see I have chaos tools installed along with the date module, along with views, and of course the views data viz module which is currently 1.0 alpha 3 release. So I'm going to start by creating a content type and I'm just gonna call this monthly earn earnings go ahead and save that and we will add two fields to this I'll get rid of this body field we'll add a field for month and that'll be a date field I'll just leave it a select list with the granularity up to year and month no end date we'll save that leave everything else to the defaults and then I will create a field called amount this will be a decimal field we can leave everything here at the defaults and we will go ahead and add a few of these monthly earnings we'll add one for July 2012 oops I looks like I forgot to get rid of the minute field so I'm gonna go take care of that real quick guess I missed that checkbox alright try again July 2012 and we'll say 5000 for the amount go ahead and save that We'll add another one, August 2012, put this one at 5500 This could be any type of value, a dollar amount, or any numeric value. So we'll, we have two pieces of monthly earnings content, so we're going to go ahead and create the view now. So I'm going to click Add a New View. I'm going to call this Monthly Earnings Report. I'm going to show content of type monthly earnings. We're going to leave it unsorted. We'll create a page called monthly earnings report where we will display a data viz view. We'll go ahead and get rid of the pager here. And we will hit continue and edit. And that brings us into our view our monthly earnings report view. You can see the format is data viz. It's been selected. And the settings are set to the default. We'll go ahead and we'll make this a column chart just to take a look. And we will need to turn on views aggregation. So there's a in the advanced settings there's a use aggregation field on the view go ahead and select aggregate and apply that now let's go ahead and add our amount and our month field for the amount field we're going to want to take the sum let apply we can leave the label as amount Let's, we're going to go ahead and change the formatter to unformatted. The views data viz module is expecting a numeric value here. And so if there's anything else that makes it a non-numeric value, it might not work the way you want it to. So we'll go ahead and make that unformatted so it, it just, just outputs the number. So let's go ahead and leave this at the default for month. We'll get rid of the label. Go ahead and select whatever date format you need and um, in the rewrite results I'm going to strip out the HTML tags here just to make sure it outputs correctly 
I will get rid of the title field here and I will go ahead and save this and we're going to go ahead and go to this monthly earnings report and see how it looks and there you go we have our first basic graph you can see on 7 of 2012 which is July we have 5,000 in sales and 5,500 in sales on in August of 2012 and this is pretty flexible so you can go ahead and you can change different types of charts here and we'll go from there try the pie chart save that and refresh over here you can see we got a pie chart and there's really a whole bunch of different charts you can use the the most important thing to get this to work that tripped me up a little bit was to make sure that you want this field to be unformatted or at least make sure that it's only going to output a numeric value otherwise it may not work the way you want to in this case it does but depending on if you have any prefixes like a dollar sign or anything like that it may not work correctly so just be careful of that and everything else should work from there it's really a pretty cool module that makes building as you can see now it broke as I set that to uh, change the format on that field but it's a really cool module to build simple graphs and reports using Google's visualization API and that's all for this time. Thanks for watching.